All right. We got uh, some big progress today, boys. So first of all, you can see this is the dyno stand for the uh, new engine. Instead of using the old one, that's for the old footprint, this one over here. So we've got the, the dyno finished, and we haven't actually done any dyno runs yet. And I might actually change the way that the engine's mounted. I might add like a rubber uh, shock there so that I can absorb some of the engine vibrations. But otherwise, it's pretty much done. And we got the engine done as well. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be spending the majority of my time making the entire BOM uh, build materials list for you guys because there are so many parts in this thing. And forgive me if I miss a couple because... Um, you know, there, there's just like so many different screw sizes and, and everything. So, uh, go ahead and get that done and get these files out to you guys so you can actually make this yourself and we can start tuning and making them better. Cause like I said, I want to do a turbo, some sort of, um, you know, like instead of like a conventional turbo, obviously it would be more of like a turbine, maybe spinning a oil uh, oil pump or something like that so i don't know we can do that and the tubular headers all kinds of stuff so also i'm going to be working on getting this into an actual car which is going to be a dragster for to start and it's going to have a clutch and all of that so i'll be working on that soon as well so anyway um yeah i got the timing right and made some other improvements you can see these are some tall boy heads here uh, and that's because I wanted to see if an accumulator chamber would make a difference. And since I haven't dynoed it yet, I'm not actually sure if it does, but it definitely, the timing has definitely made a huge difference. So, um, but yeah, it's all ready to go. This will be the final video before I get the files out to you guys. So let's go ahead and see what she runs like on one compressor. And then I got the other compressor ready to go as well. We can see what she runs like on two compressors. So right now she's hitting 6,300 RPM. And uh, I haven't even tried it with the RPM sensor on two compressors yet. So you guys will be the first to see that with me as well. All right, so let's get it. All right, so we got up to 6,700 RPM and 49 watts of power um, with 44 ounces per inch of torque. Just absolutely crazy. And that is not accurate. It's probably more powerful than that because that's not accounting for all the additional mass of the camshaft and all of that. I believe this one, the dyno uh, is tuned for the old i4 which didn't have a camshaft so this has significantly more rotating mass and it's not accounting for that so I bet this thing is actually hitting around 55 maybe 60 watts of power which is awesome it's about 30 less than what I want but mind you this isn't tuned really um, and there's still a lot we can do with the timing and all of that as well so Go ahead and hook her up to uh, four compressors, or two compressors, I'm sorry. All right. Plug in the other compressor. 
Now we got two whole compressors worth of volume to send at this thing at uh, 80 psi. So, yeah, let's see what happens now. A lot more snappy. Alright, so we got 69 watts of power and uh, 40, still the same amount of torque, 44 ounces of torque. So obviously having, having that extra flow only gives us a higher uh, top end. It's not actually giving us any more torque because uh, the same amount of pressure is still being applied to the piston. Interestingly how that comes through the dyno like that. Um, but yeah, 69 watts and... 8,800 RPMs. That is ridiculous. For this full, for a four cylinder, that's ridiculous. That's the most I've ever got. So, more more or less, even with two compressors before, it was getting around 6,000 RPMs. So, to hit 8,800 like that, um, this thing sounds like it's going to explode. But uh, I know it's bulletproof from the way that I've made it. So, yeah, I think she's good to go. So see you in the next video where we will be discussing probably how to build it so you guys can make it yourselves. Um, just for a treat though, let's go ahead and just run it for, let's just see if she's if she will blow up or not. I'm going to run it for a whole minute max, just full throttle. Alright, so it started to come down in RPMs there at the end, so something was melting or something bad was going to happen, so I cut it, but yeah, wow, that's impressive. So uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace.